Uh, the nominations for the 2018 Grammy Awards were announced early this morning, and there were a few surprises. Mm -hmm. CBS 2 Entertainment reporter Suzanne Marquez is here to break it all down for us. Hi, Suzanne. Hi, Jeff and Sharon. Yeah, a lot of surprises, a lot of new names we're seeing. And this was the first time the 13,000 member Recording Academy could vote for nominations online, giving the nominees a fresher feel. And the most nominated artists are people of color. And we're also taking a look at some of the surprises. We all have lessons, right? Jay Z's 444 album leads the Grammy nominations with eight nods. Kendrick Lamar is close behind with seven. One of them could make history if they win record or song of the year. They'd be the first rappers to win in the categories. They both have album of the year nods, Jay Z's first in his 21 year career. Rounding out the nominees, Childish Gambino, AKA Donald Glover, Lord, and Bruno Mars. Mars has six nods, including the top three categories. And Childish Gambino, the alter ego of actor Donald Glover, scored five nominations. Despacito, the hit from Puerto Rican singer Luis Fonsi, featuring Justin Bieber and Daddy Yankee, landed three nominations, including Record and Song of the Year. It's the first Spanish language song to land nods in those categories. Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders landed a Grammy nod in the spoken word category for the audio version of his book that came out after the presidential election. The late Carrie Fisher is nominated in the same category for her book, The Princess Diarist. Oh, you just looking at the bulldog. <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, isn't she lovely? And then up against Bernie. Maybe Bernie will win this time. You never know. <laughs> He's got a beat. He yeah. can dance to it. <laughs> okay. Taylor Swift's new album, Reputation, did not get any Grammy nominations because it released past the deadline for 2017. But her song, Look What You Made Me Do, was eligible, didn't get nominated. She does have two nods for a duet with Zayn for Fifty Shades Darker on the Ooh. soundtrack and sh uh, songwriting for Little Big Tom Town's Better Man. And they'll be taking place at Madison Square Garden in yeah. New York this later this year, actually, January. Yeah. Jenny. Sorry, I thought we were out of time. That's why no. I was rushing at the end. No, guys. no, no, no. It's all but, right. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Thank Suzanne, you. thanks very much. <laughs> you can watch the Grammys right here on CBS2 Sunday, January 28th. Coverage begins at 4.30 in the afternoon, hopefully with Suzanne.